welcome to Movie Read Views. My name's Cody Reed. This review is for Maggie, which is directed by Henry Hobson, and it stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and Abigail Breslin. So the story takes place in current times, where there's a zombie outbreak. But this movie kind of focuses on a different aspect of a zombie outbreak. Instead of, like, this war and destruction, it focuses on the story between Maggie, this girl who gets infected, and Wade, who's her father, you know, he's trying to protect her and trying to watch over her. Uh, and so the story, you know, there's a lot of people getting affected. The communities, they want these people to be quarantined so that way it could stop the zombie outbreak, kind of contain it. But, you know, Wade wants to protect Maggie from all of that and dying alone, basically. Uh, so he wants to be there to watch over her even as she's going through the zombie transformation and trying to protect her, trying to help her. So it's a pretty interesting story. It focuses more on the family relationship, which was cool to watch. You have Arnold Schwarzenegger, who plays more of a dramatic role in this movie, and he does a great job, uh, especially compared to some of the other cheesy stuff that he's done or action movies. It's a different departure for him. Abigail Breslin also does great. She's already been nominated for an Oscar when she was younger, and so she plays you know, the teenager going through the zombie outbreak. She plays that character really well. And it's great seeing that father-daughter relationship and as they go through this tragedy together. Like I mentioned, it's not really like other zombie movies like World War Z where you have zombies just flying out of the air and attacking people and running through the streets. It's not like an action movie. It's more of this family drama, so it's more subtle that way. But that's where the movie really shines, I think, is having that relationship and focusing on that. And also, Arnold's performance is really great. It's more subdued, like I'd mentioned. Kind of like the Terminator, where he, he doesn't really say a lot, which is probably good. He doesn't need to say a lot. He's mostly, you know, contemplating and staring off into the distance. And he'll have some lines, and he's talking with Maggie. And so it's, it's great that he's more subdued in this role. However, the movie's definitely not perfect. In the middle, it kind of tends to repeat itself. It's repetitive, where they have to go to this place and maybe try to help her go to this place and figure out what's going on. And she's, you know, slowly progressing in this zombie virus that she has. So it's kind of repetitive that way. Uh, it's more of a slow burn type of movie, too, where it's just kind of like slowly moving along. Sometimes it's a little too slow, but that's what you get in this kind of movie. Also, the cinematography, the way that the movie is shot and how it looks, I wasn't a fan of. It looks like it's shot through, like, Instagram filters, like, oh, it's, like, dark, and the whole movie is kind of, like, on a gray scale with, like, these darker tones and just kind of, like, one tone but all darker. So it's, like, Instagram filters or basically everything was shot at dusk, like the sun's about to go down, so it's not very bright, but it's also not dark, just kind of like that one... At one color so also Arnold Schwarzenegger like I mentioned he is great he's better than a lot of the roles he has been in but it can be a lot of just like driving staring uh, you know like pondering so it's kind of like the best of both worlds with that yeah I'm pretty sure this movie won't be for everyone I've already seen some reviews where they're pretty high or they're pretty low uh, so if you're on the fence go see it if you like more of the, these family drama movies with like a little twist that zombie part uh, and you don't really like those zombie gory movies where there's blood and like heads going everywhere. Uh, but don't go see it if you were expecting like another summer blockbuster or if you're expecting one of those action movies like World War Z because it is not this movie. So I'll give it a 3 out of 5. It was still slightly above average and uh, it was just more of a slow burn at times, a little slow, kind of repetitive and the cinematography was meh. But the, the performances are great. I really like the story and the family drama and relationship that way so yeah. A little slightly above average. So yeah, this is a smaller movie. You probably haven't even heard of it, but you know, if you are planning on going to see it, or if this might have piqued your interest, you know, leave a comment below, but make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get updates on my other reviews. And then lastly, send me an email at moviereviews at gmail.com. I love talking about movies. Thanks so much for watching this movie read view. Uh, my name is Arnold. I'm here to promote a movie that I'm in, Maggie. Oh, you have to get to the chapel, Maggie. Get to the house. You have a zombie virus. It was good. I'll give it four out of eight fists.